Picture yourself in a realm of celluloid dreams, where the silver screen casts its enchanting spell. The year was 1972, a time of shifting ideals and simmering hopes. Amidst this tapestry of emotions emerged a cinematic gem, the King of Marvin Gardens. Do you remember that first encounter? The flickering lights of the theater, the anticipation coursing through your veins, and the characters who would soon become your companions on a journey through life's complexities. As the reel began to spin, the tale unfolded against the backdrop of Atlantic City, a city both alluring and tarnished, much like the aspirations of its inhabitants. Jack Nicholson's enigmatic portrayal of David Stiebler drew you in, his radio monologues echoing your own inner contemplations. The bond he shared with his hustling brother, brilliantly depicted by Bruce Dern, painted a poignant picture of familial ties strained by dreams and realities. Yet, it wasn't just the characters that etched themselves into your memory, but the moments that held your breath captive. A pivotal scene atop a towering roller coaster, where conversations and confessions flowed like the sea breeze. A snapshot frozen in time, reminding you of the precipice on which life teeters, between daring leaps and cautious steps. And now, as we journey back to those mesmerizing frames, let's unveil some hidden truths that danced beneath the surface of the movie magic. Random facts that breathe life into the celluloid, like whispers of the past echoing in the present. Discover the nuanced details that escape casual glances, and the trivia that adds a new layer to your cherished memories. So, take a deep breath and prepare to rekindle that connection with the King of Marvin Gardens. Let's delve into the fascinating anecdotes that transform a mere movie into a treasure trove of insights. Uncover the unknown, celebrate the known, and allow the nostalgia to wash over you like the waves crashing upon the shore. In the end, dear reader, it's these reminiscences that bind us to the world of cinema, making every encounter timeless and every memory vivid. Let's embark on this journey of discovery together, as we shine a light on the hidden facets of a classic that has left an indelible mark on us all. And so, without further ado, let's dive into the captivating world of the King of Marvin Gardens, where every frame holds a story of its own. Story of its own. Story of it. The King of Marvin Gardens, unveiling lesser-known tales in the realm of cinematic history. 1,972 seconds The King of Marvin Gardens stands as a tapestry woven with intriguing anecdotes. While the film itself has etched a place in hearts, its off-screen stories echo just as vibrantly. Among these tales, one emerges that resonates deeply with the pulse of New Jersey's past. The name Marvin Gardens conjures images of monopoly boards and strategic property acquisitions. Derived from the amalgamation of Margate City and Ventnor City in New Jersey, it finds its roots in an Atlantic County housing expanse, a stone's throw from the iconic Atlantic City. Notably, it's the sole monopoly property lying beyond Atlantic City's borders, with a quirk in the spelling, Marvin instead of Marvin. This linguistic transposition has only enriched its mystique. Amidst the film's narrative tapestry, a candid moment etched itself into the real. Ellen Burstyn and Julia Ann Robinson's untimely tumble from a golf cart during the Miss America scene unveiled a glimpse behind the curtain. Bruce Dern's pedal to the metal enthusiasm catapulted them off, resulting in Robinson's hospital stint and an unintended chapter in the film's annals. Burstyn's autobiography, Lessons in Becoming Myself, spills this incident onto its pages, forever interweaving reality with the magic of cinema. Notably, Scatman Crothers, a luminary in his own right, found the King of Marvin Gardens a pinnacle in his storied career. Amid his multifaceted roles, Crothers held this particular portrayal in special regard. A testament to the film's profound impact, his sentiment echoes through the corridors of time. As we venture through the corridors of cinema's past, the King of Marvin Gardens unfurls its layers beyond the screen. Marvin Garden's monopoly charm, Burstyn and Robinson's unexpected misadventure, and Crothers' affectionate embrace of his role, these strands illuminate the film's rich fabric. In this dance of facts and fictions, the movie finds its eternal spotlight. This exploration of the King of Marvin Gardens is brought to you by the historical threads that form its narrative, woven into the very essence of Atlantic County's Marvin Gardens and the silver screen's enduring tales. 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 Remembering the King of Marvin Gardens, a closer look at a cinematic gem in the annals of cinema, few films possess the enigmatic allure of the 1972 masterpiece The King of Marvin Gardens. Directed by Bob Rafelson, this brooding drama stars Jack Nicholson and Bruce Dern, offering a darkly atmospheric exploration of ambition, family dynamics, and the melancholic underbelly of Atlantic City. One intriguing tidbit about this film revolves around its original title, The Philosopher King. Before settling on The King of Marvin Gardens, the movie underwent a transformative shift in nomenclature, a change that seems to reflect the intricate philosophical layers that the narrative delves into. This decision, perhaps a nod to the philosophical musings woven throughout the storyline, ultimately underscores the film's deep intellectual currents. Yet, among the lesser-known aspects lies a tragic tale of Julia Ann Robinson, whose sole major film role was in The King of Marvin Gardens. Two years after the movie's release, Robinson met a devastating fate, perishing in an apartment fire. Her fleeting but impactful presence in the film takes on a poignant significance in the context of her untimely demise. 
The film itself boasts a meticulous attention to detail, even in passing moments. A curious piece of graffiti caught the keen eyes of fans. H.D. Stanton, a clever nod to Jack Nicholson's close friend, the venerable actor Harry Dean Stanton. This blink and you miss it Easter egg showcases the camaraderie between the film's cast and the subtle ways in which their relationships were interwoven into the fabric of the story. The King of Marvin Gardens is a treasure trove of symbolism and intrigue, encapsulating the spirit of its era while remaining timeless in its exploration of the human experience. From its evocative title evolution to the tragic fate of its cast member and the winks to real-life connections, the film continues to captivate audiences, inviting them to unravel its layers of meaning. As the years go by, The King of Marvin Gardens remains not just a movie, but a piece of art that continues to inspire and mystify, reminding us of the power of cinema to provoke thought and emotion in equal measure. Al Pacino's role in The King of Marvin Gardens, a missed opportunity in the vibrant tapestry of cinematic history. 1,972 seconds The King of Marvin Gardens stands as a pivotal work that navigated the intricate complexities of human relationships against the backdrop of Atlantic City's enigmatic charm. Directed by Bob Rafelson, this film embarked on a journey that almost featured the magnetic presence of Al Pacino, until the siren call of The Godfather diverted his path. A little-known tidbit reveals that Pacino was personally extended an invitation by Rafelson to assume the role of David, a character at the core of the film's narrative. A tantalizing crossroads emerged as Pacino stood torn between two cinematic ventures, each holding immense promise. Ultimately, he opted for the Corleone family saga in The Godfather, etching an indelible mark on Hollywood's annals. This choice, while steering Pacino toward legendary heights, also cast a shadow on the alternate reality where he could have interwoven his brilliance with the King of Marvin Gardens. The cosmic ballet of casting decisions shaped not only Pacino's trajectory but also the contours of Marvin Gardens. The original script harbored an optimistic denouement, whispering of a potential union between Jessica and David, portrayed by Ellen Burstyn and Jack Nicholson, respectively. However, chemistry proved elusive, remaining as ephemeral as Atlantic City's mist-kissed boardwalks. Nicholson, who inhabited the role of David, and Rafelson, the directorial maestro, found themselves dancing on the edge of compatibility, unable to orchestrate the harmony envisioned. A subtle homage to the New Jersey locales that cradled the film, the titular Marvin Gardens draws inspiration from the neighboring Margate City and Ventnor City. Nestled two miles south of Atlantic City, Marvin Gardens etches its own chapter in the cultural tapestry as a housing enclave. Curiously, it resonates in popular memory as a yellow property on the Monopoly game board, a symbol of real estate dreams in the face of chance. The Monopoly version, however, stumbled upon a linguistic hiccup, misnaming it Marvin Garden. As the king of Marvin Gardens continues to beckon cinephiles into its enigmatic embrace, the nearly realized collaboration between Pacino and Rafelson remains a tantalizing what-if. The film's trajectory, much like the ocean's tides, was altered by a handful of choices, rendering it an indelible testament to the capricious nature of artistic creation. In the realm of cinematic history, the 1972 movie The King of Marvin Gardens stands as a distinctive work of art, etching its place in the minds of moviegoers. One poignant thread weaves into its narrative tapestry, the sole major film role of Julia Ann Robinson. A mere two years after the film's release, tragedy struck as Robinson lost her life in an apartment fire. Her brief yet impactful appearance in the film takes on a somber hue, reminding us of life's fragility. But the movie's backstage anecdotes also find a place in the spotlight. Ellen Burstyn's memoir, Lessons in Becoming Myself, unveils a candid account of a memorable scene. Burstyn and Robinson both tumbled off the back of a golf cart during the Miss America sequence. Bruce Dern's impulsive acceleration led to the mishap, leaving Robinson injured and confined to a hospital for several days. The line between fiction and reality blurs, illustrating the unpredictability that often accompanies artistic endeavors. In this cinematic tale, where the lines between fiction and reality sometimes blur, the story of the King of Marvin Gardens echoes beyond the screen. The echoes of its narrative, both within the movie and beyond, serve as a reminder that life's tragedies and triumphs often intertwine, leaving an indelible mark on the canvas of time. As we lower the curtains on our exploration of the enigmatic world brought to life in the 1972 cinematic masterpiece, The King of Marvin Gardens, I implore you to take a moment to linger within the echoes of its scenes, the cadence of its dialogues, and the secrets of its characters. This film, a tapestry woven with threads of longing, ambition, and fractured dreams, transcends its celluloid frame to find a place within the chambers of our own emotions. Just as the characters grapple with their desires against the backdrop of Atlantic City, perhaps you too have navigated the labyrinth of your aspirations and yearnings in the sprawling landscape of your life. The King of Marvin Gardens invites you not just to be a passive observer, but a co-traveler in the journey of self-discovery, peeling away layers of introspection much like pebbles on a shore worn smooth by the tides of time. As you reflect on the film's nuanced narratives, I encourage you to share your thoughts, your musings, and your cherished memories that this cinematic gem has unearthed from the recesses of your mind. 
Was it the haunting melancholy that struck a chord, or the raw portrayal of human vulnerability? Did you find solace in the frayed connections between the characters, mirroring your own experiences in unexpected ways? Your perspectives weave a tapestry of diverse encounters with this cinematic marvel, and your stories add hues to the kaleidoscope of interpretations that this film continues to inspire. Just as no two waves that kiss the shore are the same, your experience with the King of Marvin Gardens is uniquely yours, a testament to the infinite interplay between art and the human soul. Thank you for embarking on this cinematic odyssey, for letting its essence seep into your thoughts and memories. Your engagement adds depth to the legacy of this movie, ensuring it lives on through the ever-evolving narratives of those who have been touched by its magic. And so, as the credits roll and we bid adieu to this tale, remember that it lives on not just on the screen, but within you, as a mirror to your own aspirations, fears, and desires. Until we embark on our next shared adventure in the realms of creativity and reflection, keep the spirit of the King of Marvin Gardens alive within you. Warmest regards, your name.